pack is packed, goes on mass destruction. Guess you see the bad boys of wrestling. Just in competition when the war. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jason Frazier with the Mortgage X Podcast. I want to welcome you to another episode of 75X. Before we get started, just want to let you guys know that we are a proud member of the Real Disrupt Podcasting family. You can check out some more awesome podcasts at realdisrupt.com. And I want to give a shout out to our greatest, greatest supporter here at the Mortgage X Podcast. And that is Laura Brandeo of AFR Wholesale. We thank you for your continued support of the program. And uh, what is 75X? If this is your first time here, 75X is a no nonsense, no BS version of the Mortgage X where uh, I, I talk about a little bit about my journey doing the 75 hard program. And, um, you know, and, uh, and some of the lessons and things that I learned because it's, it's not just about a physical transformation, it's about a mental, mental transformation. And you're, a lot of the times you're having conversations with yourself and calling yourself out uh, on your nonsense, which is going to be the subject of this episode, which I've titled uh, Angels and Demons, right? So uh, not only is this uh, just a podcast, but you could also watch this on basically any streaming device like a Roku or Fire TV, Apple TV, uh, through Mortflix. That's M-O-R-T-F-L-I-X, Mortflix. And uh, that was uh, created by my good friend, Marvin Colon. And he's actually here in Salt Lake City uh, this week. So we're going to be catching up and doing a, a live version of uh, on Mortflix, um, I think next week. Um, but uh, download the Mortflix app and there's other shows on there as well. Other guests, um, which include uh, people like uh, Todd Bitter and Matt Ishbia, Michelle Vaughn, and uh, yours truly and a few others. Um, but you could uh, watch 75X on the Mortgage, the Mortgage X channel on, um, on Mortflix, right? Now, this, if this is your first time here, uh, like I said, this is, uh, this is a, a, no, a no nonsense, no BS. So uh, this is definitely going to have a not uh, suitable for work language. So if you're listening to this uh, in your car with kids, I would uh, listen to it at a later time, right? Now, I, I don't go out of my way to uh, curse or anything, but it's it, it's going to slip out, you know, the stuff that holds me back from doing that on the other podcast. Uh, I don't have that here because I want to make this real and raw. And um, going off of the feedback and the downloads, uh, people are really <laughs> responding to that, uh, uh, to this, uh, to this uh, uh, format. So, um, be, you know, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to Mortgage X podcast, please do. Uh, if this episode or any episodes that we do on Mortgage X mean, uh, you know, give you any value or give you something to think about, uh, which we try to do, please give us a review uh, on whatever uh, podcast, uh, podcast platform uh, that you listen to. It, it helps us grow the show and uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you give us a review and also share an episode that, uh, that you like. So uh, within every episode, I just go through a quick uh, rundown of where, where I'm at in my 75 hard journey. Uh, for all the information about this, go to mortgagexpodcast.com forward slash 75x. Uh, you'll get a, uh, get a look at what the program is, um, you, you, uh, it was created by Andy Frisella. There's links to his podcast and his content on there, which I highly recommend. Uh, I also have, uh, just when I started the series, there's a lot of people that started 75 hard, uh, because they were watching my journey. And so, uh, there, I created a support, uh, motivation and support group on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com uh, forward slash groups forward slash mortgage X 75. And I think we got about 22 people in there that's doing it. So real estate and mortgage professionals, I even got my man, Andrew Berman is who, uh, runs, uh, Nor <laughs> national mortgage professional magazine. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's trying it out. I think he's, he just, I think today, actually, as you're listening to this will be his first day trying it. So we got a lot of cool people doing it. Um, and so definitely if you're thinking about it or you've, you're on it right now or you're starting, uh, you know, hey, if you need some support motivation, please feel free to, to join the group and, and you know, we're, we're talking about our struggles and everything uh, that, goes, uh, that goes on with that. So uh, as, as you're listening to this, um, this will be day 31. I just finished day 30 of uh, 75 Hard and it's, uh, it's definitely been a transformation. It's definitely been something that has changed my life for the better. I feel, I was talking to a few friends today and I, I feel better than I've felt in like 10, I, I haven't felt this good in, in probably over a decade. And it's because I've changed my, the way I eat, the way I approach things, my sleep, um, my, my, just my mental status, uh, my, uh, the, the water intake. And I just, I realized doing this is that like, I, I, did, I, there would be days I didn't drink any water at all, just had soda or, or soda basically, because I was just this big, you know, soda guy. Um, so it's been going really good. Um, I started somewhere towards uh, the neighborhood of, um, 
of, of 300 pounds that I'm now down to 272 pounds. So, uh, so it's been great. It's been a great transformation. Now I lost some of that when I started, I started a diet before I started 75 hard. So, so it's not all of that from when I was tracking. So I probably lost, according to 75 hard, I probably lost about 22 pounds, right? In the last 30 days, which is, is great. And absolutely fantastic. So I know I'm not going to lose that every single month, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to get down and, and that's going. So that's where I'm at with, uh, you know, with, you know, on day 30, uh, um, that's where I'm at, uh, in the program. Uh, I'm sore, I'm tired, uh, cause you're doing this every single day. There's no deviation, no compromises, no nothing. You're doing the two 45 minute workouts, the drinking of water, uh, the book reading, all that stuff. Uh, you're doing it, fitting it into your schedule. It's, it's daunting. It's, it, and I, there's a lot of people like way more fit and way more what I would consider, you know, more, uh, mentally like focused than I am that have tapped out, you know, uh, that, that I, I, cause I'm in another group with just a, thousands of people that are trying it. And there's people that, you know, fail on day 10 to 20. And these are like bodybuilders and like athletes and stuff. So it's not an easy program to do, but if you have the dedication and the focus, it's, uh, it's definitely, worth it. So today, angels and demons, what I'm talking about this, again, we go through those intros, but the actual content of each podcast episode, I try to, I try to keep, keep it to about 15, 20 minutes. Right. Uh, and, and maybe just trying to keep it to a 20 minute episode overall. Cause then everyone's, uh, you know, just time, especially if you're doing 75 hard, you don't got the extra time in the day to be listening to the podcast or maybe listening to this while you're working out. Right. So angels and demons. So, uh, for those of you that have the 75 hard book, uh, which I have, which is which is awesome. Or for those of you that listen to the podcast episode where Andy talks about this, um, and Andy uh, Frisella's podcast is called Real AF. Um, he he calls it the boss and the bitch voice, right? And it, you know, again, excuse my language, and um, he calls it the boss and the bitch voice. Now, I'm not going to uh, to title this um, boss and bitch, especially now with everything going on. I don't want anyone to take offense. To, to, to the bitch part of it. Um, but, uh, but that's what he's talking about. And so I, I replace boss for angel and I replace bitch with demons. Right. And so angels and demons, and that's the subject of this episode and part. So, you know, just instead of going into all of what that means, what he's talking about is it's almost like having like the, the, the angels on your shoulders, right? Like the bad angel and the good angel and or the angel and the demon, the devil, whatever. Um, and you, we all have that, that struggle and that, that, uh, um, uh, what is that? That challenge, right? When you're doing something and you have that voice, he's in the, the, the angel voice is the one that tells you what you need to be doing, right? The angel voice is the one that's like your, your better angel, your, your, your conscience. Like you need to be doing this. You need to be doing that. You should finish your workouts. You need to be reading. You need to be doing that. You should be, you know, spending time with your, whatever it is, right? It's, it's the voice that, that you know, you should be listening to. Then you got the demon voice that says, well, d don't worry about it. Like you could do, you know, you make it up tomorrow. No one's going to know, you know, it. Cause I mean, really 75 hard is really just an honor system. When you think about it, like nobody's going to know you did this. Nobody's going to know that you did that, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's the one that talks you out of being great. It's the one that talks you out of having success. It's the one that talks you out of taking risks or doing things, right? It's the one that plays it safe. Um, and, uh, a lot of times it keeps you lazy. It keeps you mundane. And I'll tell you right now, I've listened to the demon voice for way too long, but the reason why I want to do this episode is because, um, I, and I'll tell you right now, like 98, 99% of the time, nine times out of 10, whatever, um, the, the demon voice would win with me, uh, by taking the easy road or doing this or doing that. It just would, because it was easier, right? Like why not take the easy road to, to do stuff, but that's not what 70 hearts about. So he talks about this and talks about how you, you basically got to be able to coach yourself, right? When you don't have a coach or you have no one around and you're working out and you decide that you're going to, you know, just screw off and not do anything and, and whatever, um, you know, you need to have that self-coaching, that, that, that angel voice, that boss voice to, 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 to kick your ass and say, no, you know, you know, you're going to do this shit. You're going to freaking get this stuff done. And so, um, so in the podcast episode, he's talking about when he was working out. And I think the episode is, is there's a coach in all of us is the name of the episode. And, um, when he's, when he's talking about, it, he's like, yeah, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta be able to coach yourself. You get easel. And he was talking about himself being in the gym and he was, he was half-assing his workout. And he knew it. And, and he was just going to say like, you know, I got my reps and I got whatever, but instead the voice came in and said, no, you're not only you're going to finish this, you're going to finish it right, but you're going to do like another three sets to offset the, just the bullshit that you just did. Right. It's like inner conversation he's having with himself. Right. 
So for me, that, ha- and again, it wasn't as like as grandiose or anything, um, but it, I wanted to do this podcast episode because this happened to me last week. Um, I was going through, um, I was going through, uh, I was reading, right? So I was reading a book and I was tired. It was towards the end of the night. Um, and, you know, I, I have a lot of a workload during the day because so, I do a lot of different things. Um, and so I was just, I was freaking beat. I was tired. So I was totally half-assing my, my 10 page reading. Right. And, 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 and look, 10 pages really isn't a big, isn't a lot to read. Right. It just isn't. And so I was just freaking tired. Um, so, uh, I was going through it and, you know, like when you're just not focused, you're reading like the same page over and over again, or you read three pages. And if someone asks you like, what'd you just read? You'd be like, uh, shit, I don't know. Like I wasn't paying attention. So I was totally doing that. I was totally doing that. And I was like, all right, I got my 10. I was basically just rushing through it just to check off a box. Right. And that's not what 75 hard is about. It's about learning about yourself. It's about learning, um, you know, your faults. It's about, and it's about bettering them, right? It's about fixing the things that are wrong because it's one of those, one of the quotes that I always believed, um, or that at least meant a lot to me is like, how you do something is how you, or how you do every, anything is how you do everything, right? So basically if you half-ass something that really doesn't matter, you're probably going to half-ass bigger things too, right? And I think that's the right quote, how you do anything is how you do everything. Um, and it's something that I do. Now I have an incredible work ethic. I, I like to work uh, just something that I do, but at the same time, I make it harder on myself than I need to, right? And I, and I procrastinate and, and, and all, all the great things that make people successful or not, basically, um, in my case. But um, it, it, it's, it's something that has been, always been something to where, and going back to where, I, like I said, nine, nine times out of ten, I'm listening to the demon voice, right? And so, um, so for me, I half-assed it, didn't do the pages, and before I started 75 hard, I guarantee you, I guarantee you 100% that I would have been like, that's enough. I'll, you know, read 20 pages tomorrow or whatever. And I would have done that, right? You know, that's the thing is like, I would do that, but I just wouldn't do, I wouldn't complete the matter at hand. So, um, so anyway, so I did that. I, so I read the pages and I put my Kindle down and I was like, I was like it, the voice, right? Not in my head. It's like, it's like, dude, what the fuck? Right. Like, like, what are you doing? Like, you, like, what are you doing? Like, cause like, you know, I wasn't, I was, I'm in right. And I don't want us to start over. And, and to me, even though if I technically wrote, read the pages, I didn't put my heart into it. And that's, that's the thing is that this isn't try to find sneaks or hacks or get around. This is about mental toughness. So I was like, dude, what are you freaking doing, man? Like, read the damn pages and, and then it going back to his podcast like i said like he, he went and did redid that set but he also did three sets as punishment to himself kind of like you know coach so like you need to, you need to do and make up for it right so so i so i put it down it literally took about 60 seconds of me just like what are you like dude come on we're doing this for a reason so i picked the picked the kindle back up i read not only did i read the 10 pages but i read the whole chapter as kind of like my punishment right um, and so, uh, so, so that was my angels and demons bonus. And, and, it, and honestly, to be, to be, to be, to be totally honest with you, that was really the first moment I had since the 75 hard. And you think it would be something on like drinking the water or working out or whatever, but I've, I've been getting in such a routine and rhythm with that, that it's just part of what I do. Right. The, and same with the read, the reading, I, I, someday the days, and this is the thing is I need to get into a routine to do that first thing in the morning just because my days get away from me and there's times that I, I, I meant to read the book this afternoon, just couldn't do it. Right. And so I read it actually just right before I, um, uh, right before I, uh, um, am recording this podcast, I read the 75, 10 pages of the 75 hard book that I bought. And so, but that was my first real angel versus demons, angel voice, boss voice, getting in my head and making me complete something that normally I would not like, again, at a high percentage, mo- that I wouldn't, I'll just say it right now. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it otherwise if I hadn't been doing this. Um, so I wanted to record this podcast and focus specifically on that to let you guys know, um, that's the benefit uh, that I'm getting from this. Right. And a lot of people might be like, Hey, I'm already self coach. Like this is, I don't need to do so far to do that. And fantastic. That's awesome. But it's one of those things to where there are a lot of people and I look, I've worked with a lot of them. I, I know them. I see them online I, and I talk to them offline, you know, private conversations and, and they give up. They give up. They don't do it. They do what I did, right? They just, they listen to the, the demon voice and they decide, nah, not going to do it. 
Um, and it hurts them. It hurts their success. It hurts what they're trying to get done. And so I was just excited the fact that not only has 75 Hard taught me to listen to that voice, to complete the tasks, to do that, um, but it, it's, it's taught me to win that argument, right? It, that's the thing is it's not just the, the actions of doing it, but to win with yourself when you're struggling with yourself. And so I thought that was an important lesson that I've learned is that I'm doing that now. I'm hoping that when that pops up again, because that's the first time. Yes, I wake up sometimes and if I didn't get to sleep, you know, before 11 and I'm waking up at 4.30, I'm tired. I'm thinking, shit, like I'll just do this and I'll go to the gym later on, right? But then the more that I end up doing that and, and putting things off, if you put something off, you'll put it off and continue to put it off because you always tell yourself a story, right? And again, that's not what 75 hard is about. It's about it being hard. It's about being difficult. It's about not having perfect conditions. And so, uh, so I was just really excited about that. And I wanted to talk about that because I hope you guys get, you know, something out of that. I hope you guys know that we all have that struggle, that we all have that, that voice problem. We all, you know, we, we have that. We, it just does. And so, uh, you know, I want you guys to know that, um, you know, to, you know, whatever it takes, it doesn't have to be sudden fired, but whatever it is, um, to, to have that battle and know that I'll tell you right now with the way that I feel and everything else, um, it's an absolute blessing that I feel this way and I feel this good and that I know that I'm losing weight, that I know that I'm being, becoming more healthier. I know that I'm a more um, awake and alert and in tune. Um, and it's just great. It's a great feeling. I haven't felt this way in a long time. And uh, so I'm just happy to do it. And I'm happy to share it with you guys, right? And maybe it is for you. Maybe it isn't for you. Maybe you're just learning from it. Maybe you have your own way of doing it. Fantastic. I don't really care. My, you know, I mean, I care, but I don't really care that you do it the way that I'm doing it. My thing is that I just want people to get motivated and inspired to do this stuff. Because it's, you know, at the end of the day, what are we doing? Like, what are, why, are you, why are you doing why you're doing? Like, if you don't want to be the best at it, why are you doing it, right? If, if, then go do something that you do have the passion for, that you love, that you can be the best out of it. Otherwise, are you just, are you happy just floating through life and, and not doing anything and just, and then you're gone? Like, I mean, it's, it's look, and I'm not saying everyone has to be like super successful the way, that, you know, everyone needs to be happy the way that they're truly, if you can look at yourself and say you're truly happy, in your current state, doing everything you're doing, then fantastic. Do that. Like do that. Be, be you. No one should tell you any different than that. But if you're not, find something that's going to get you on that track. I found this. It's been a, it's been a godsend. It's been a lifesaver. And I, and I, and I know people will be like, oh, come on. Like you're, you know, taking little, little artistic, <laughs> you know, a uh, little uh, hyperbole there, but no, it's a, uh, it really has because on because look I, I come from a, a family that of di- diabetics heart issues and so we all know that that doesn't hold well for me not working out being obese and everything else so um so it is it is finding this is because i'm not going to stop i'm not going to stop i'm not going to quit um, i'm going to keep going all day 75 and just like i was doing a little motivation in the, in the support group today just saying look i know a lot of people i see it in the other groups that these are like fit people ballers that quit and can't do it or they can't, you know, they can't finish the challenge. And so to me, I'm looking at it as if I finish this and I know a lot of people that are way better equipped than me and I was able to do it and they weren't, it's going to be a huge thing for me. It's going to just even without that, but just, I'm a competitive guy. So I like that too. (laughs) But but anyway, uh, so that's it for this episode of 75 X angels and demons. I hope you got some, uh, some inspiration, motivation out of it. I hope it spoke to you. Um, if it did, again, please give us a, re- a review. Please share it. Um, would would really, really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, to doing this uh, next next week and uh, just continuing going. I'm excited that everyone is enjoying the journey and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, and humble, humbled to see so many people be inspired and start doing this based off of watching me because I hope they feel get to feel the same as I do. As always, my name is Jason Frazier with the Mortgage X podcast, and I hope you have an amazing day. Take care. Fourth pack is back because I'm mass destruction. Guess you see the bad boys are wrestling. Testing competition when the